Do you want to be a faster cuber? Of course we all do, and for that reason, I'm going to be watching 10 hours of cubing tutorials non-stop from Jperm, Cubehead, Felix Zemdegs, and more. And hopefully along the way, I'll unlock the big secret to getting faster. It's 2 p.m. The timer starts now. Okay, so basically, I assembled a playlist of nearly 100 videos on how to get faster at 3x3, and that's what I'm watching from now until midnight. But there's a catch, I'm not doing any 3x3 solves during these 10 hours. See, before I started, I did an average of 5, and I'll do an average of 5 after as well, so I can truly test if watching these tutorials is actually going to make me faster. Okay, so I'm one hour into the challenge, I am getting pretty bored. I think a lot of this challenge is going to be mental, like, I just gotta remember, if I can sit through a 2 hour class, then I could sit through one hour of tutorials about cubing, which is something I'm more interested in, obviously. That being said, I am pretty bored, so I'm gonna take a walk. And of course, I had to take my laptop to keep watching tutorials. Okay, so there's people over there playing basketball, and I have no idea how they're gonna react to me just holding a laptop. At 4 o'clock, I watched some of the videos in the background while doing math homework, and I came across this question. Leaf is pre-ordering the new GAN13 from dailypuzzles.com.au for 7513, but by using the code TIBO at checkout, they save 5%. How much money did they save? I'll give you 3 seconds to comment your answer. Well, the right answer is $3.76, and you can save that much too by using my code for your order. Next question. A YouTuber is watching cubing videos for 10 hours straight. How many minutes of his life is he wait- Hey! So I'm nearly three hours in watching these cubing tutorials and I just posted on my Instagram what you guys think is in this mystery box which I'll be opening in just a few hours. It was at this point that the challenge truly started to set in. I was no longer watching and listening to these videos, merely seeing and hearing them. I'd been hearing Jperm's voice for so long it's like my brain started tuning it out, which is a problem when you realize I'd be watching a total of 50 Jperm videos. Do it, it's still fast, but I so I'm seeing a lot of new algorithms right now and it would be really useful. If I could cube. I do these videos with a lot of time in between because it doesn't make sense to learn them all at once. So make sure you only pick a few tricks or it's gonna be hard to remember what you've just learned. In short, I stopped paying attention, which is why it was a really nice change of pace when I went to Starbucks. The last J from video, then 37 more videos from other YouTubers. So right now it's 8.30, I've been watching tutorials for 6 hours now, 6 and a half hours, and I think it's finally time to unveil what's in the box. Now I hoped the contents of this box could keep me entertained for a little while, and that was... A Gigaminx, which did take me close to an hour to solve. Oh, done. Just two and a half hours left. This is the 67th video I've watched today, and it's like I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, since I only have like 22 more videos to go. It's 11 o'clock, which means I have one hour left of this challenge, but I am getting pretty tired, so if I want to finish the rest of these cubing tutorials, I need to find a way to stay awake, such as, I don't know, being splashed with cold water. Right now, it's 11.30 p.m. I'm watching Carter Kick's video on how to get faster, and I have 30 minutes left, and it's just like, wow, 10 hours. That's longer than the average work day. That's like the majority of the time you're awake in the day, and I like barely even remember. The first video when I started this challenge seems like so long ago, and now I have five videos left after this one. Getting sub 10 does take time, and it will take a okay, lot of practice. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last video over. So I've just watched 10 hours of cubing tutorials. And now it's midnight. Well, it's actually closer to 12.30 because of all the ads just added up, made it longer than 10 hours. I'm sure I'm going to be hearing F2L tips in my sleep. Um, see you in the morning. So, it's morning right now, and I'm gonna do the second average of five to see if the tutorials made me any faster. So, 
So this average is actually over half a second faster than the one I did at first. So this is the big secret to getting faster, right? Watching a bunch of videos back to back to back telling you how to get faster? Mm, I don't think so. During those 10 hours, I got way too much information to retain it all. And while I did learn some legitimately useful algorithms and F2L tips, I wasn't really paying attention most of the time, so it's basically useless. So yes, you should watch tutorials to learn new things, but you also have to put them into use by practicing. There is one good thing that came from this challenge though. Recently, I've just been doing hundreds of 3x3 solves without actually putting in an effort to get better, and now all those tutorials have given me kind of the motivation to actually try to learn new algorithms and learn new things to actually try to improve my times, which is something I think I've been missing for a while. Thanks for watching this whole video, I'm really proud of it, so make sure to like and subscribe if you like it. I'll see you in my next one.